Oh my god, this thing is the salt. Hey, what are you doing? What up? <laughs> Having a snack? Oh. Thinking about trying to think about how to put that thing on a stand so I can run carbon fiber all the way around it. I'm thinking if I put it on a stand, I won't be able to run carbon all the way around it. So it'd be cool if I could like run it where the wheel wells are, but there's gotta be another way. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I just gotta think think about it. Right now I'm hungry, so I need a snack. You'll come up with something, you always do. It'd be cool, like, if, like, there was some way to, like, hold it from each side, you know? And then you could hold it from each side, <laughs> and you could wrap it all the way around. Like what? Corn dog it. Corn dog it! <laughs> Look at corn dog! Oh. <laughs> I got up a little early today. I'm gonna try and fixture up the styrofoam mold in a way that I can make it accessible all the way around. And I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Jesus Christ. The task for today is to take these three pieces of styrofoam and mate them to one single post that's gonna corn dog it all the way through the center. That way I can put this buck on a rotisserie and I can basically access all sides of it when I want to. Um, that way when I'm doing curing, I can actually rotate the model so there's no effects of gravity as well, like any peeling or anything. So the first goal is to stick a 20 foot steel pipe down the center of this thing. And there's no clearance for it, so I'm gonna have to heat up the pipe and shove it right down its pee hole, basically, like a little catheter. <laughs> so the setup is, this is a 13 foot uh, jig table with a 20 foot steel pipe across it. And then I got my stand out here, and I'm gonna set up the styrofoam, and basically level everything out. I'm gonna hot glue the three sections together um, with just like spot pieces. And after we get those hot glued together, we're gonna make sure everything's lined up, and we're gonna try and start to shove this steel pipe down the front edge. I got two pieces together, I got the seam together. I think the hard part here is trying to get the hot glue in between the two pieces and then realign it for the hot glue set. So that's gonna kind of be the rush, but we do have some of these pieces um, in the center holding it up and straight. And first thing we're gonna do is gonna set up these two pieces together, hot glue them, and then we'll move on to the front. Well, hindsight's 2020, and I didn't think I'd be corn dogging this the way I was gonna be. And what I should have done is when I glued these two pieces together, I should have carved a channel out of the center to allow space for this tube to go through. But I didn't. So now we're fighting that, but on the next one I know. So we'll see what happens. Looks good.
All right, well, not too bad. Made it out this whole piece so we don't have any uh, affected area. And it just off by like an inch. Holy moly. Okay, so got everything corn dogged, got the tube all the way through, welded some metal plates and tubes to the outside so they can make it into a rotisserie. Um, it started to rain out here, so I actually had to hustle and get it inside the trailer, so I couldn't film too much. But let me bring you in and show what I got. All right, so we got it in the trailer. Um, I basically cut out a couple of pieces here, cut out this piece so that we could basically set in a one inch tube and it's set and we can spin it around. Can't spin it yet though, because right now it's not completely glued to the tube. Um, you can see that I have a little bit of spot here that I have to fill in. I'm actually working on reattaching the three sections together because originally I had just attached it with hot glue. And when I brought it in here and flipped it upside down, all the hot glue completely busted. Then I ended up getting some seams here. It's kind of hard to tell, but right now these aren't completely attached to each other. I'm going to take some total boat epoxy and some gabacil. I'm going to fill in this gap and I'm going to line everything up. Um, after that, everything should be good to go. I should be able to flip it back over and I can start fairing it in, measuring out my final dimensions to make sure that everything fits within it, and we can go from there. But yeah, let's mix up some cava seal, some epoxy bandu. Okay. Wow, this is pretty tight there. First things first. I'm gonna mix some epoxy in here. I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna spend about, I don't know, one to two minutes mixing this up completely. Once I do that, I'm gonna take some cabasol and I'm gonna slowly start adding it to the mixture, trying to get it thick like peanut butter. Um, the point of adding the cabasol to this is that if I was just to run this super thin epoxy, it would pretty much all run off. And I have about an eighth inch gap in some places between the, the styrofoam, and this wouldn't be able to bridge that gap. So by adding the capsule, I'm actually thickening up the, the glue or the epoxy and allow it to fill those gaps and get a better bond between the two surfaces completely. One thing to be really careful about. One thing to be really careful about with this cabasil um, is that it is insanely fine. You'll see, I actually have to wear the mask. Usually I'm not like a huge advocate for safety, but this stuff is so small that even just opening the lid creates like a huge amount of dust. It's freaking tiny. So let's see if we can get in here without making a giant mess. I don't think you can see it on camera, but it's everywhere in the air and it's so small it can get in your lungs and mess everything up for you so I always recommend wearing a mask using this stuff especially in like a closed area like this this is just not ideal I'm gonna use two cups worth get it up to peanut butter or like creamy peanut butter I should probably put gloves on About half a cup. Okay, so, sorry for the lighting. Um, I've got this super thick, right? You can see it's, it's almost a little too thick. Um, but that's okay. I'm gonna spread it on there. And I just want it to sit on the face and fill up some of the gaps. That's not enough. That's not enough. I need more. Okay. 
I got all the three pieces glued up and on the stand inside the trailer. It's raining outside, it's cold. I got a heater going on overnight, so hopefully all that will cure up. <clears throat> I actually did some more carbon fiber testing and I think I got some new layups that are gonna be better suited to what I'm trying to achieve. Next step, so I'm gonna fare this bad boy in according to the body. Nah, fuck it, I don't know, just fucking keep watching. Jesus Christ, I hate that trust.